step number one, then step number two. Number three. Four. So here's the upper punch. And here's the bottom die, and this is the uh, Z1 and Z2. We can zoom out and zoom in and different graphic. Let's do it one more time. So this is Z1 and Z2. Okay, so as your operator is running the machine, it'll display to him how to actually load the material into the machine. Your upper punch, your bottom die, your back gauge finger here. It tells him the flat as he starts, the first step, put the material into the backstop. After he does the bend, it's saying that you now showing how the operator needs to put the material in for the second bend. As you can see, it has the first bend here. So now it's saying load the material this way for the second bend. Walks them through step by step. So after the second bend, for the third bend, it's telling you to flip it over and put it in that way so that he can have it. So mainly walks them through how to do it every step. Fourth one again, after the third bend, it's saying you need to load it this way to have a correct uh, forming of your part. Now you can also view this in different spots. You can zoom in really closely. You can also zoom out really far if you wanted to. Gives you all sorts of options. Or you can even see the whole, mach the whole drawing of the brake to give yourself an up close view of how it's gonna look as it's in the machine. So if we start here, we can actually view it this way once again, shows the operator put the material in to start off. After the first bend, once again, it says, shows how the operator needs to load the next part. Same thing with this, shows how the operator needs to load after the second bend for the third step, and so on with the fourth. Very easy for operators to see a visual and know how to load the material in the machine to get the correct uh, bends that they're needed.